Welcome back to Holiday Road. It's Zach and Deanna. We are in South Dakota. We are in Custer State Park and we are hiking the Eight Mile Loop Black Hills Trail. Black Elk Peak. Black Elk Peak. <laughs> So Black Elk Peak is the highest point in the United States east of the Rocky Mountains. So it's in Custer State Park in uh, kind of the heart of the Black Hills area, not far from Mount Rushmore. So when we knew we were coming this way, we love hiking, even though eight miles and that much elevation gain is a lot, we had to do it. We couldn't miss this. How are you feeling right now? Good. A little winded. Um, but so far, so good. This is the payoff for that crazy hike to back Black Elk Peak. There's an old fire, uh, fire watch tower up at the top here, made of stone, and it feels like you're in a castle on top of the world. Super cool. It's crazy. We are so out of breath. <laughs> I'm sweating, but so worth it. Totally worth it. That peak was amazing. So if you're ever in Custer State Park and want to go to Black Elk Peak, there's a couple ways to get there. The easiest trailhead is the Sylvan Lake Trailhead. Plenty of parking uh, right as you get in on one of the entrances of the park. And then you want to take trail number nine. That's going to be your quickest um, way up. Now we are going to take trail number four back because that's going to allow us to pass what's called the Cathedral Spile, Spires, which we will uh, get to here in a minute. Um, and it only adds maybe a quarter mile out of the way. Um, so it's just kind of a different split there. So trail number nine there. And then if you wanna go a, a different way back, trail number four will get you past a uh, new and exciting piece of scenery. This is Little Devil's Tower behind me. And it's like a miniature version of Devil's Tower in Wyoming, I guess. I swear every direction of this hike is uphill. This is where they got the saying, uphill both ways. I think someone hiked this and that's where the term was coined. But we finally made it to the breakaway point, head over to the Cathedral Spires. Um, and then we have to turn back, come back up that route and we finally get back to Sylvan Lake.
these spires in the background are absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything like them. They're we're so a little neat. disappointed because I guess we just missed a sheep or something uh, climbing up in them. And when we got here, it was gone. But we've seen a lot of wildlife so far. Just today, we've seen five deer, a black-footed ferret, um, and almost... And some like goats outside our hotel room. We're not sure if they're goats or donkeys, but lots of wildlife. Yeah. We've stumbled into Hill City, South Dakota, to try to find something to eat. How delightful is this tea right now after the hike? It is so good. It is hitting the spot. It's a raspberry black tea. It's just, it's giving me life. A whole new woman. That's a whole chunk of brie cheese. All right, so we just had lunch. About to get back on to our adventure trek to hit some of the other sites of South Dakota, but the Alpine Inn in Hill City it was really good. I thought it was really good. Was I got the Monte good. Cristo. We'll I got a turkey croissant sandwich. I can't actually pronounce the name of it, but it was the only croissant sandwich. It came, hers came with this German potato salad. I don't normally like potato salad, was, so unfortunately I substituted mine, but I tried hers and it was great. It was a really good potato salad. So go there. It's got a little German vibe here in the middle of South Dakota. We are walking in to see an iconic American landmark, and that is Mount Rushmore. Uh, entrance is free, parking's $10, so we got our spot here in the garage, and we're gonna walk up to see it. So in the visitor center, you can see a movie about how they carved the monument and a lot of other cool museum type stuff. So I that's where we're at right now. I did not know there was all this infrastructure around the memorial. So that's kind of a cool surprise. based off of what I've heard from other people. But there's a lot more there than I thought there was gonna be. So definitely worth it if you are in South Dakota, make time for it. Yeah, it's um, neat. But now we are on our way to Needles Point, which is like a scenic highway here. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we are gonna go- Needles Highway. Sorry, Needles, Needles highway. highway. And then we're gonna go to the Wilderness Loop. Yes, the Wilderness Loop Road. Supposedly is the best spot to see wildlife in the Kessler yes. State Park. So we're hoping to see some buffalo, maybe some other cool things. We're excited. super tight pass through the side of a mountain and we just watch a tour bus come through which is like, i thought it was here, stuck but... and it turns it out that's slow. like what they do is they bring their tour buses through 
It was insane. But now I, there's like a million cars behind them that are now also coming through. So we're here waiting our turn. We well, gotta wait a little while. goal and that is trying to find wildlife um, as you can see it looks like an area where wildlife will hang out um, this area is known for what's called the begging burrows which is a number of burrows that will come up to your car begging for food so we're really hoping to find those but the weather's a little overcast kind of rainy I don't know if that's gonna keep the animals away or bring them to us but uh, we've already seen a lot of wildlife in South Dakota so far so we're happy either way just driving along with uh, another six massively large buffalo hanging out behind me I'm telling you this is unreal announcement we have found the burrows they're not actually coming up to the car but they're out in the field and we're going to go see if we can uh, chase them down and feed them He doesn't like being on camera. Oh. Oh. He doesn't want to be touched. Hang on. Hang on. This is wildly aggressive. I gotta pull it out. I gotta pull it out still. There you go. Yummy. That was good, huh? So, since I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of questions. Yes, it actually is okay, according to park rangers and the website, to feed the burrows. You're not supposed to feed or really uh, approach any of the other wildlife in the park, but the burrows, um, they say go ahead and feed them. They don't make a big deal about it. Uh, what I read online, carrots and crackers seem to be the two snacks of choice, So, but they really like it. I guess normally they come up to the cars, but today we had to go to them, but fun nonetheless. I don't know if you can see any of these on the video, but there are prairie dogs all across this field, and it's so freaking cold. There's a bunch over there. There's a family standing up. Oh my gosh, they're holding hands. They're holding hands. Oh, there's one running back there. Oh my gosh. Deanna and I just had a life-changing experience. So I hate this because the video that we took is not gonna show anywhere close to what it's like being here in person. Number one, um, our camera's not zooming in super well right now, so I can't get a close shot and we can't roam into their habitat because we don't want to hurt their holes um, and because there's two big buffalo back there, but field with hundreds of prairie dogs just barking to each other and, and squeaking and we're seeing them pop up and they're playing with each other and they're running and they're holding hands. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's, oh, it's life-changing. It's so cool. I love it. I've just, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> We're in 
candy store on our way to dinner. So when we get done hiking, I like to have a soda, like a nice brew, like specialty soda. And I've been looking for a soda all day and this place has a ton. So we're gonna find one. I found one. It's Huckleberry, which seems to be very popular here. So we did just stop at Crazy Horse too. Unfortunately, it started raining. Um, as soon as we got there, so we didn't get any video footage, but now we've got uh, Deanna special soda and off to and it is so good. Oh my gosh, worth the wait. And now off to dinner. There's a selection of over 50 burgers. What's on yours? Um, bacon. It's pretty much just like a standard one, but it's just bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion. Mine's got mac and cheese though. But I got these sweet potato fries. So. All right, special shout out and thank you to our friends David and Jack for recommending that restaurant. Um, Sticky's Garage. Really good if you've ever been on like a Quaker Steak and Luke, same vibe. Lots of burger selection, sandwiches, good appetizers. Great uh, service. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. But hey, uh, we are exhausted, so we're heading back to our, our hotel for the night. Um, guys, remember, if you like this video, we've got more of them coming, and we've got more of them we've already made. So please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that update button so that you get notifications when we put out new videos. Also, make sure to like this video and leave a comment so that we know uh, you enjoyed it and how we can improve. Thanks.